Hi, in this session we are going to look at demand-based price. And the very first element of the demand-based price calculation would be to understand how can we derive the demand equation. So let's have a look at demand equation. So what is demand equation? As you know that the price and demand have inverse relationship if you draw them on the graph. Uh, usually the uh, price and demand have very uh, sensitive relationship. In a number of cases insensitive as well. But most of the commodities in the market we notice that demand and price have inverse relationship. So usually when we charge a higher selling price, we end up losing some of the demand. And when we charge a lower price, then we usually expect to gain some more customers in the market. So demand equation is P equals to A minus B Q. Whereas A is the price where the quantity equals to zero. Well, theoretically, we assume that it is absolute maximum or highest price where there is nobody willing to buy the product at that price. Maybe you would find some very funny, nice people in the market, in the world, that whatever the price we charge, some people are always there to buy the product or anything, other commodity we sell in the market. But theoretically, we believe that it may be very high, absolute highest price when there is a very minimum demand or hardly any demand at all. Then B simply rep represents the slope or gradient between the price and demand relationship and that slope is calculated as change in price over the change in quantity. Quantity can be replaced as demand. And P and Q are not interpreted isolately so we say P is the price at the quantity or at the demand Q or Q was the quantity sold when we charged the price of P. So both, both are considered as a pair and this pair cannot be isolated, cannot be interpreted alone. Right, let's have a look at a little example we can use to calculate or derive the demand function of any product. A company sells 1000 units at a price of $5. So the first price and quantity combination is when the price was 5, then at that time the units were, you can see here, the units were 500. Oops, it's a bit too yellowish. So I can change the color a little bit, maybe. Yeah. It sounds a bit more interesting. And when the price was $4, we sold more units like 1500 So when we charged the price of 5,000 units were sold. And when we charged the price of 4, we sold 1500 units. Based upon this information, derive the demand equation. And you might be thinking where this data is coming. Well, this is my assumed information here. But the companies actually keep the past statistics of all their records of selling prices as well as the demand levels. And by using the past sales and price and volume statistics, we actually develop the demand equation that how the price and demand are uh, related or correlated for the product. So let's calculate the demand equation of this product. Okay, so first of all, we need to remember that economists have derived this equation as P equals to A minus B Q. First of all, we will calculate B. Okay, then we will do something else. But first of all, let's calculate B value, which is change in price divided into the change in quantity. Right now, there are two price combinations, five and four. So change in price will be five minus four and the change in quantity will be 1500 minus 1000. And if we calculate using the calculators 5 minus 4, even the people like myself can work out 5 minus 4 is 1 divided by 1500 minus 1000 is 500. So 1 over 500, our calculator gives us 0 0.002. So once the B value has been calculated, then we are going to substitute this B value 
into either pair of price and quantity given in the demand formula. When I say we substitute, I simply mean to say like this. Uh, if you look at the original data, there were two combinations of price and quantity. So I can substitute into the first one, you can substitute into the second pair of price and quantity. We all should get the same answer. Okay, so going back to the slide, P equals to A minus B Q. I'm going to substitute the B value into the first combination when the price was 5 and the quantity was 1000 and then 0 0.002. So P equals to A minus B Q. And then of course you just need to rearrange and play around with the equation moving things from one side to the other. We are going to get A value. Okay, and remember when you move numbers from one side of the equation to the other side of the equation, don't forget to change the signs. Okay, right, so A equals 2, we end up with something like 25. So the B value has been determined, A value has been calculated, so the demand equation of this company is going to be P equals to 25 minus 0 0.002 Q and soon as we get the quantity to be sold and we substitute into this demand equation we are going to calculate the selling price it will not be difficult at all or alternatively if we have a price to charge based upon that price we can actually determine the quantity to be sold as well thank you